Hi guys, so today's video is the instructional video for uh, my workout that I did yesterday. So I'm gonna go over the exercises with you and you can try this workout at home. So the first exercise that I did in this workout were kick-ups. switch the legs. The power goes from your core and from your hips and uh, you're kicking through the heel. First you lift your knee up and then you extend, extend your leg like this. Then you jump and switch the legs and your goal is to do, uh, do this exercise as fast as you can and do as many reps as you can. This exercise is incredible for your abs. It's actually one of the uh, best exercises that will target your abs. And the other thing that I wanted to say is that if you're a beginner or if you're somebody who doesn't have the flexibility to kick the leg up like this, it's fine to do it even here. If this is all you can do, then fine. Because the important thing is that you're moving, that you're doing your workouts, that you have to start somewhere, right? So start just here. These exercises are open for modifications and all I want from you is just to try it, to give it a try and you're gonna work on your flexibility and you're gonna work on your strength and you're gonna get better and better every single time you do a new work workout, a new exercise. The second exercise that I did in this workout were walking push-ups and plank jumps. like this you're gonna get into the plank position your body is one straight line uh, keep your uh, body tight don't drop your hips and now you're gonna jump with your feet towards your left arm and back into the plank are you gonna do a push-up are you gonna walk towards your right one step towards the right uh, push-up and now you're gonna jump towards your right arm and back into the plank and from here you're gonna walk to the left again so push up walk push up and jump towards your left arm again great exercise for your abs, upper body, legs, cardio and now I'm gonna show you modification for beginners. So, I think that uh, everyone has a gouge at home and you can do this exercise uh, on using your gouge. So, you're gonna get into the plank position but you're gonna have your upper body elevated which makes it much easier. And you're gonna jump towards your left arm back into the plank, push up, if you cannot go all the way down then just bend your elbows as much as you can, if this is all you can do then it's fine too, you're gonna work on your strength as we go, then make a step towards the right, push up, jump towards your right arm, back into the plank and now you're gonna do the same thing, you're gonna walk towards the left. So, this way you can modify these exercises. If you cannot do push up from your gouge, then uh, you can do push up from your wall. This is a push up, except that uh, you don't have to carry the entire weight of your, of your body. So, you know, the, this is the easiest push up, and the hardest would be. Uh, from your handstand, handstand push-up, right? So this way you can modify uh, the intensity of each exercise. 
The third exercise in this workout were skater uh, lunge jumps. position. From here you're gonna lunge back but not straight back but across and diagonally like this. Get the front thigh parallel to the ground and from here you're gonna drive up and you're gonna drive the back knee up as you jump from the standing leg. Again you're gonna try for as many reps as you can. And you're gonna notice that as you get tired, uh, your back leg is gonna start to do something like this. Your back leg is gonna try to do regular backward lunge because it's easier, right? It's easier for your balance. So really try to focus putting the leg back and across and diagonally. Now I'm going to show you some modifications for beginners so that really everyone can try this exercise. You can use a chair for a balance, which makes it much easier. So try to lunge back, holding onto the chair and try to jump up on the one leg. If that's too challenging, then just do the backward lunge, put the feet together and jump on both feet. And as you get stronger, as you are going to do your workouts regularly, you're going to be soon, very soon, able to jump from one leg, at least a little bit like this. So, all I just want from you is to not skip the exercise, but really give it a try and try to modify it so that it, uh, you know, that you can do it even with your own fitness level. So the last exercise in this workout was a side leg lift. So you're gonna lay on your exercise mat and you're gonna extend your arms to the sides and bring your legs up, straight up towards the ceiling so that your body and legs create 90 degree angle. And now you're gonna bring both legs towards the left side until they touch the ground and immediately lift the legs back towards the center. And here you're gonna do a little butt lift. This is just a little movement. So just come here just to show um, how far I'm lifting my bum. It's just a few inches off of the ground and you're not doing something like this but you're, uh, you're trying to bring your feet straight up towards the ceiling so that you're really um, using the bottom uh, part of your abs like this. Now modification for beginners is this. You can bend your knees as much as you can to make this exercise much much easier and you can just bring your knees towards the side and then towards the center and from here try to do the butt lift and you're going for the first interval towards one side only and for the uh, last interval you're gonna do it Towards, uh, towards the right side. So these were all the exercises that I did in my workout yesterday and I'm gonna have the breakdown of the workout on my site but it the TV so that you can try it at home. I hope you're gonna enjoy it and that's it. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.